Yeah, g'day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. Today we're going to talk about putting 10 degrees downward tilt uh, on a chain. Still USG grinder doesn't call for 10 degrees downward tilt. Still just don't have 10 degrees downward tilt full stop on their still USG chart. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I do my 10 degrees downward tilt or close enough to 10 degrees downwards uh, tilt on a USG grinder. First of all, I've got this straight piece of metal and it, let's put it in the clamp. We tilt the head at zero degrees. We put the top plate angle at zero degrees. Pull the arm down in the grinding position. So that means that the, the depth was set on a 3.8 chain. And then if we zoom in, you'll have a look. The wheel is in perfect alignment. I'm about one degree offset on the vice. So we're about one degree to the positive side because the wheel's worn a little bit. So that wheel is in alignment, but that wheel goes out of alignment and we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, if we have a look at the front of the grinder and we'll just zoom right in there. I want you to pay attention to the little black dot right there where my fingernail is. It's right in line with that little pin. That is the pivot point on the top plate angle. So if we zoom back out, this is the adjustment here for the top plate angle. It's the C scale and the middle of it is right there where I've drawn the texture. But have a look where the tooth is. The tooth is about 17 millimetres. It's a brand new chain. It's almost 17 millimetres past the pivot point. Now, I'm not too sure why, because remember, it's a still USG grinder. USG stands for Universal Sharpening Grinder. It does hedge trimmers as well as circular saws. So, for whatever reason that's offset, I don't know. On an Oregon grinder, it's pretty spot on. It's not offset. The tooth rotates right on top of the pivot point. This is 17 mils out. So what happens, That, and I can demonstrate that, that when you rotate the scale of the top plate, the tooth moves quite a considerable distance across the face of the wheel and that's the reason you've got to go to minus 15 and positive 15 millimeters on the scale to compensate for that so we'll show you that and then we'll show you how to set this up for approximately 10 degrees downward tilt okay so i've got a little bit of white tape which is right in the uh, center of the wheel that goes right to the bottom now I've got the scale, the top plate scale, on zero degrees. And that white marker that you see, that bit of tape, is roughly, roughly on the edge of the uh, tooth, right? But when I move the vise, and we'll just loosen the vise, can you see that that tooth is swung away from the the center line, that white mark. And if I move it to the other side, you can see how it's moved right out of the way. Because it's offset by 17 millimeters, that means, now, if we change the tooth to the other tooth there, watch what happens when I, I'm at 30 degrees there, right? I'll come into zero. And watch the tooth come in line. We're zero now. Look at that. So we're right in line with the tooth. And see what happens when we move to 30? We're way out. We're about 12 millimetres from that line. And that's why still use positive 12 millimetres and negative 12 millimetres. So that it doesn't cause any problems with the alignment of the uh, offset alignment. Okay, 10 degrees downward tilt. Pretty easy. We leave that on zero. 
exactly where we centred the wheel. And when we, we got this adjusted at 25 degrees, and we'll just centre the, center the wheel again. Make sure it's right in the centre with a white mark. Okay, so that white mark now is centred, right? And that will get it right on. Okay, so that's right on. Now, have a look when I turn it to 25 degrees. Can you see how that mark is on the opposite side of the point by about eight millimetres. So therefore, where that mark is, is the lowest point on the grinding wheel. And this side here is the highest point on the grinding wheel. And that's close enough to 10 degrees downward tilt. Pretty simple, isn't it? So just go over that one more time. When I put the top plate on zero and align the mark with a approximately close enough to the point of the tooth, right? There's a point of the tooth there. That's lined up spot on. When I move this to the right hand side to 25 degrees, the tooth has moved away from that centre light, the point of the tooth is now about eight millimetres or so. About eight millimetres, I'd say. That's close enough to 10 degrees downward tilt because the centre line, that white mark, is the lowest point on the wheel. And that's what 10 degrees downward tilt is. So that's it. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. So that's how you do 10 degrees downward tilt. There's nothing in the manual about doing it because... It's almost like if you've got a steel USG grinder, hey, don't grind Oregon, don't grind Counton, don't grind any other chain except a steel chain. No, you want to be able to use this grinder on any chain. So unfortunately, the instruction manual doesn't go in, into any detail about 10 degrees downward tilt because still don't recommend it. Now, what does it look like? I ground this at 10 degrees downward tilt. That's not a bad, it's, it's uh, not a bad uh, profile. There it is there, see? It's got a little bit of hook on it, but that's not too bad. Look at the other side of the chain. Same. So that's it. That's 10 degrees downward tilt on a USG grinder. The most important thing is just get your wheel, how I showed you before, to get the wheel right dead smack in the middle so that the grind to the left side and the right side is equal. Nothing worse than having a wheel that's worn down and, it's, and you haven't got it central. That's why I still recommend minus 15, positive 15, so that the wheel, any error in the wheel alignment is overridden by that minus and positive 15 as I showed you before. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.